Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Echo. Welcome back today to my favorite feature in TU46, and that's boats. Boats have changed a lot. They're much more fun. They're a lot faster, but most importantly, you can ride with a friend. Now behind me are different variations of the new boats. I'm gonna teach you everything you need to know. Let me know in the comment section what your favorite feature is. Now as you guys can see here, we ha now have different colored boats representing different colored wood. So we can have oak, spruce, birch, you can have jungle, you can have acacia, and even dark oak. Now the crafting recipe is slightly different on Minecraft console edition compared to pocket edition and PC edition. Not entirely sure why this didn't change, maybe it will in the near future. So behind me, this has been the crafting recipe for boats on Minecraft console edition for as long as we can remember. Probably for years now. Get away, Mr. Cow. Um, but on Minecraft PC and Pocket Edition, this is the crafting recipe. For some reason, this did not make it onto the console version. Not entirely sure. But as you guys can see, we have oak, spruce, birch, jungle, acacia, and of course, dark oak boats. It depends what type of wood you want to use. It's fully up to you. So let's just make a couple of these and I'll also grab myself a couple of wooden shovels because you now have paddles and demonstrated by Mr. Cal there, he looks like he's ready for an expedition. Now animals can also fit in here. So you can have two players, which means it can be you and a friend. You can have you and a cow, you and a pig, you and an enderman, you and a blaze. Any type of mob will actually fit in the boats, which is so much fun. And the best thing is you can also add two animals to one boat. I'll explain to you just in just a second. So when it comes to the crafting recipe, as you guys can see here, using oak will make an oak boat. I haven't tried half and half. I'm guessing if you just make half and half, it does not work anymore. Previously, you could use different types of woods. Um, but as you guys can see, this produces spruce. Now, on Minecraft PC and Pocket Edition, it does require you to put a shovel there as the paddles. It didn't make it to console version. A little bit confused about that, but I'm not too worried. It just means that you're saving wood when it comes to crafting. So for example, in this video, let's just grab ourselves an oak boat. First thing I want to do is I want to get in into this boat with this cow. But before we do that, I want to show you guys what it's like on your own. So I'm now in a boat on my own. When it comes to moving around, guys, it's the same. Nothing has changed for movement. It's just moving your analog stick, but they're a lot faster. I actually feel like I'm drifting boats. It's so much fun. So for Minecraft console edition, boats are probably one of the best editions compared to pocket edition or of course the PC version as well. Now sometimes when you bump into mobs, they will also get into the boat as well. Now it doesn't always happen because sometimes they have to be on land, uh, but maybe we can, we can reverse and get them in there. Come on, come on horsey, no. Are you going to get in? No, they're not going to get in. They're not going to get in. But yeah, boats are a lot slicker. They're a lot smoother. They're much more improved. And I think they're a lot stronger, by the way, guys. Because, like, you can bump into things now instead of them breaking all the time. Like, boats always used to always break. But now you can literally ride into the sides and they're not going to break. Uh, when it comes to breaking them in creative, obviously, you just tap it once and it will break. When it comes to survival, it will take you a few tries to break it. As you guys can see, I've got a chicken in there. I can actually ride with the chicken. So if you're playing Survival Island and you need to transfer mobs to your island, you can do this with boats. It's so much more useful. It's so much more efficient. It's just so much better. Now, of course, if you do put yourself in a boat with a hostile mob, whether it be a zombie, whether it be... Uh, let's grab ourselves some Enderman. I'm going to show you guys some tutorials here on how this works. So let's find ourselves a couple of spawn eggs. Let's just try a creeper. Um, let's just try a slime because they can go in boats as well. Nope. And I'm guessing they can't go in boats. Yes, they can. Look at him. It's a squishy in a boat. But for this one, you can see here that he's like sticking out, which is kind of funny. <laughs> it's a squishy in a boat. This makes me laugh. I don't know what it is, but I absolutely love the new boats. They're just so much fun to mess around with. Um, I'm gonna get out of here. By the way, guys, when you're in the water, you can't push the boats. I've noticed this. I've tried this in survival. I've tried this in creative. You cannot push the boat when there's something in there. Um, but you can put a creeper inside of a boat. Let's just grab a couple more mobs here. There's lots of mobs that we can put in a boat. Some of them look fun. Some of them look kind of stupidy. Um, a squid. Does a squid go in a boat? No. Yes. No. No, the squid isn't going in the boat. Um, let's try and put a, a chicken with a, a creeper. Let's put a wolf in with this guy. 
Get in the boat. There we go. So they're in a boat together. Let's try... Let's just have a little bit of a look at some of the other mobs as well. Let's get ourselves some of the bigger mobs. So a bigger mob. I wonder... A polar bear. I've not tried a couple of these. So I'm going to try a couple of them. Not all of them. Um, what else have we got around here? We've got ourselves a shulker. Let's grab a guardian. An endermite. A witch. Where's the enderman? Let's put an enderman on a bike. On a bike, I was going to say then. In a boat on his own. So let's grab ourselves a new boat. The oak one will do. Let's put ourselves an enderman inside there. This is probably my favorite one. This has to be my favorite one. I'm telling you guys now. Because look at it. It looks like he's holding on to you. <laughs> it's so much fun. Look at him. He's like, yo, where are you taking me? Now, if I had to switch to survival and I have something that's probably deadly to me, it will do a lot of damage to you. So I'm going to show you with a... Let's try a witch. Okay, let's try and put a witch in a boat. Come on, witch. Get in. Let's change our game mode to create survival. Now, I believe they'll start doing damage to you. For some reason, the witch isn't, but I noticed a skeleton did. I noticed a zombie did. Um, but we can take these on a journey. Get away with the slime. Oh dear, the only one I'm being attacked by is the slime. But look, I'm literally taking her on adventure. And now that I'm out, she's still not attacking me. Okay then, well, I guess they don't attack you, which is a, a massive bonus. Creepers. Now, I don't think they can get out the boat. I think the only way to get them out is by breaking the boat. As you guys can see, he's not locked onto me. He's he's really not interested in me at all. Oh, there he is. Okay. Poor chicken. Oh, the chicken survived. Okay, then. Well, boats are, like, virtually indestructible. I'm having a little bit of an experience with these as well, because I've not really played these ones. Let's try and put a, a guardian in a boat. There we go. The guardian's in a boat. Um, I want to put a shulker in a boat. I'm going to try as many as we can. Let's try and put a shulker in the boat. Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. I'm pretty sure these can be transferred as well, right? No. No, I don't think they can be. Oh, yeah, they can. Okay. Okay, that's a bug. That's a bug. We found ourselves a bug, guys. We changed the color of a shulker in a boat. Um, That's not meant to happen. We'll be sure to let Fort J know about that one. Oh, look, there's two of them in the boat. Can we get in the boat anymore? No, we can't. Okay, well, you can have mobs in the boat. What else do we want to put in a boat here? A blaze. They can be placed in boats as well. So let's find ourselves a blaze and a blaze. Let's try a wither skeleton. Oh, a gas. That will try that. Where's the wither skeletons? I think that'll be a fun thing to try as well. Uh, oh, wait. We didn't try a polar bear. We'll try this one. Okay, so let's grab ourselves the oak boat. Let's see if a polar bear will go inside of here, polar bear. Hey, he does. How does this look like when you're in it with it? Oh, you can't. Aha. So it looks like some of the mobs are... Wait, did we get in with him? We did. I'm literally exporting a polar bear. As, as you do. He's shaking his head, so he doesn't look really happy about that one. But these are honestly probably the greatest feature that I... I love this feature so much. Let's try a gas. I don't think they're going to work, but we can try it. <clears throat> we can try and get him in one. Here we go. Come on, gas. Do you fit in the boat? He does. I think the guy, he's in the boat. We put a ghast in the boat. He's stuck. <laughs> I actually didn't realize that you could put a ghast in the boat, but look, the ghast is actually in the boat. He's not flying away. He would fly away normally like this if he was um, not in a boat, but you can actually put a ghast inside of a boat. So go and have some fun with this, guys, because it's probably one of the best things that I've, like, I absolutely love this feature about this. I love this feature, just having the ability to, Take mobs with you on a journey is so much fun. What happens when I change this to survival? Mm. Oh, he attacks me. Okay, we're being attacked now. So as you guys can see, we were attacked there. So overall, probably one of the greatest features that they have introduced. Go and explore this. Go and have some fun with this. If you guys did enjoy this video, as always, be sure to thumbs it up. Have a great day. And I'll catch you next time. Bye.